everybody. I uh, tell you what, we are right back into the middle of chilly, chilly air for this time of the year. It's about six o'clock. Hope you had a good day. Around a quarter of an inch this morning from that rain band. That was the cold front coming through. Uh, now we're just in the chilly, unstable air behind it. There's no real big ball of moisture coming at us for the next couple of days. It's just cold enough that once uh, we get any heating during the day whatsoever, the cumulus cloudiness will start to develop. We may have a couple of disturbances rotate through, and all of that will bring active scattered showers, especially during the day on Wednesday. There's not a lot out there this evening. I mean, there will be some scattered stuff, but nothing that big going on. However, during the day on Wednesday, watch out for scattered showers to really start popping. I expect we'll at least have reports of some hail and heavy downpours. Maybe even uh, a report of some lightning strikes. So again, that's tomorrow with temperatures, depending on how much sun we get or don't get and when we get it or don't get it, struggling just to get up to about 50. We'll be in the 30s tonight, I think, much of the areas. It's going to be chilly. I still think Thursday is similar weather, but more sun, not as many showers. Um, and then after that, we'll look for improvement. Let's hope. <laughs> All right, don't forget snow levels at nighttime around 1,500 feet or even lower the next couple of nights. In fact, Thursday morning, uh, some of the air mass indicators are that if we had a shower early Thursday morning, any of us could at least see a snow mix. That's how chilly the air is. Wow. I'll talk to you soon.